Hello guys, uh, today I would like to uh, solve a mystery of uh, Sahara with you. Uh, I would like to show you some uh, grid of uh, lines on Earth that are uh, responsible for uh, uh, some of the megalithical uh, structures, also some geographical locations and uh, terrain uh, you know, manipulation. Uh, if you check this picture, you can see uh, circles uh, of uh, different layers of rock that uh, was melted and uh, was pushed up. And uh, check uh, the smaller circle in the left, uh, uh, upper left side, and uh, later we'll see why. So this has been a mystery for. Uh, long time uh, first people and scientists believed uh, it was a meteor crater uh, now they think it's a kind of uh, dome formation uh, that is natural and in at the end of this video you will see uh, why it's a completely different uh, origin and uh, special pur purpose uh, maybe it's a good time uh, for you to ask yourself a question what do you think now what do you know now about this structure and uh, at the end of the video you will see how it can uh, change the way you look at uh, these uh, ancient sites the problem uh, with uh, explaining this uh, structure uh, in traditional way is like uh, it's very hard to explain uh, if something is uh, circular like this and um, uh, it's not from the crater from impact uh, so uh, it's hard to explain why is it so symmetrical now I'm gonna use uh, Google Earth and I will prove you that uh, this uh, structure is not uh, an accident. Uh, it's uh, it has a purpose, and uh, this placement is uh, selected. So to uh, find out uh, the purpose or um, the origin of this structure, we need to find out uh, why is it located on uh, this place. For those of you who believe uh, it's uh, natural or its uh, displacement is accidental, uh, please check this out. Uh, I will turn on uh, some lines. Uh, maybe you heard about uh, energy lines of Earth and uh, uh, the most famous uh, that is known uh, for a couple of years is uh, orbit uh, around uh, Giza Plateau, uh, uh, Eridu, the ancient city, uh, one of the first uh, cities on Earth, Persepolis, Mohenjo-Daro city that used to have uh, 35,000 people. Uh, here we go to Angkor Wat, uh, here uh, we are crossing uh, Eastern Island uh, to Nazca, Machu Picchu, Oleantetambo, and uh, we are going uh, back to Giza. So this uh, this path is uh, probably known to you. Also, this uh, this one is uh, pretty famous. If you want to travel to Angkor Wat from Angkor Wat uh, to Nazca uh, there is a good uh, stop for you here uh, it's called Stonehenge and uh, guess what it's uh, exactly in the middle so here from left side uh, from right side uh, this brown uh, line has uh, 10,000 uh, kilometers So from uh, Stonehenge to um, Nazca, it's um, 10,000 kilometers um, 
that means Stonehenge is exactly in the middle of the spot and there's no way coincidence and uh, there are also another tracks for example or paths for example from uh, Eastern Island uh, through uh, Xi'an White Pyramid uh, back to Monjo Daro or uh, which also is uh, in uh, special proportions uh, for example uh, this uh, green line has uh, exactly 16 uh, thousand kilometers uh, 16,200 kilometers and uh, uh, also also a path from Giza through Teotihuacan and back uh, on this uh, orbit uh, is in a special proportions uh, in this case uh, this green uh, uh, path has uh, 12,300 uh, kilometers and uh, here from Teotihuacan to equator is 3,000 uh, 3, kilometers and this uh, is uh, 8,000 kilometers from uh, Teotihuacan back to orbit uh, Giza, Nazca, Angerwatt. Okay, so this is not coincidence. These are uh, these are paths uh, known uh, to us. Uh, most of uh, the people are ignoring it, but uh, it's about the time to wake up. So um, let's uh, let's go back uh, to uh, our problem, because there are another grid uh, grids uh, or the, I mean the lines, uh, and uh, I can talk about it later in later videos. Uh, now uh, let's uh, focus on <laughs> this eye. And uh, we can see that from uh, Mohenjo-Daro to Isle Sahara is uh, 8,000 kilometers uh, plus minus 20 or 30 kilometers, uh, which I mean, I believe uh, was uh, this uh, smaller circle later. Okay, so uh, they were working with. Uh, Precision and uh, this grid uh, can move. You can see a couple of uh, tens of kilometers, but uh, it's 80. It's really very close to the 80 kilometers from Mohenjo Daro, and this uh, yellow line is exactly. This is very precise. It's exactly 8,000 to uh, to Nazca. So uh, this is uh, very uh, precise. Um, what does it mean? 8,000 kilometers and 8,000 kilometers. 10,000 kilometers. So <laughs> this is uh, something that uh, may be shocking to you, but uh, 8,000 kilometers is uh, one fifth of uh, Earth's circumference. Uh, and um, 10,000 is uh, one fourth and uh, this gives us a really interesting uh, grid uh, you can see these triangles uh, for example this smaller line uh, energy line passing through Eye of Sahara and um, uh, is uh, also uh, from the crossroad uh, of another line so these lines are crossing each other and uh, still keeping their proportions uh, I will talk about it uh, or you will see it at the end so um, um, uh, the eye of Sahara yeah it's, uh, it's, a, it's a marker it's definitely a marker and uh, on this orbit from uh, Giza when we travel to Nazca is the is the one fifth one fifth 
and um, what's very interesting is uh, uh, from uh, when we take distance from Nazca, Nazca uh, to um, to here. I mean, this is n this is no way natural formation. <laughs> Uh, just check it, check it out. It's uh, going uh, exactly in the middle, this path uh, of this uh, perpendicular formation. And guess what? Uh, the distance uh, from uh, this uh, formation to Natska, it's um, it's not coincidence, uh, coincidental. It's um, It's exactly 10,000 kilometers, and uh, also uh, from uh, from this uh, marker of this creation, this formation to um, to Angkor Wat, it's uh, also 10,000 kilometers. So. Uh, That means uh, it's, it's it's really dividing uh, this uh, this orbit uh, yeah to Angkor Wat it's uh, uh, ten thousand kilometers exactly so <laughs> yeah it's exactly in the middle uh what else <laughs> what else do we have we have a lot of a lot of these uh things uh check this out um we are uh, this grid is making uh, uh triangles for example this triangle did i mention this uh eastern island is a triangle yeah it's it's a perfect uh uh you know triangle with the right angle and uh, it's not a coincidence also uh this uh distance of uh, this uh, longer side it's I think 20 kilometers exactly so uh, triangles it's all about the triangles all about the dividing uh, surface of earth and uh, putting energy into it uh, terraforming uh, uh, also lifting heavy stuff uh, transporting it to places uh, you can see some smaller uh, some another path they are going to like Titicaca, so the Salt Lake. Also, you can see the crosses. The, it's uh, it's all connected. So it's going back to uh, Rancho Daro, and uh, you can see, uh, for example, uh, this uh, this triangle here, and uh, or or to here uh, this triangle here. Eye of Sahara and Giza, and check this triangle here uh, with uh, Mohenjo-Daro and Giza, and check the uh, check the uh, geography under it. It was it was cut. This is this is how the Earth uh, was uh, formed and created. Okay, this was cut. Uh, there, uh, to understand it, you have to realize that uh, uh, I believe that uh, my theory there is uh, there was uh, these were orbits and uh, uh, also energy lines and uh, the ability to to push down something uh, or push something up uh, um, was uh, and uh, I believe this is how they make uh, um, how they make uh, the crossing uh, also in the biblical uh, stories you know through the sea um, it explains a lot of things for example uh, this structure okay so it's, uh, it's in the middle it's uh, 10,000 kilometers from one side from Nazca and uh, uh, 10,000 kilometers from Angor also, it's symmetrical this way. Uh, I don't remember the exact dimension. Uh, uh, I can check it. It's 3,000 kilometers. And uh, guess what? Um, 
here, for example, or Tong Tonga Tapu Island, Tonga. Uh, guess what they have? Uh, they have uh, megalith, megaliths. So, <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, I wanted to uh, mention that uh, that uh, these triangles uh, also this um, these lines uh, create a grid that um, yeah really if you if you uh, realize uh, some uh, theories how Earth was created for example that that uh, it was uh, that Earth is uh, carried by a turtle and if you check the divisions of of some uh, um, of some like if you check these polygons. Uh, yeah, it can uh, can you imagine if you imagine the energy that was put into this uh, it could resemble um, it could remind you uh, turtle so uh, another thing, uh, you want something else okay this is not good enough for you okay check this out uh, you are on a path from uh, anger what uh, you are passing uh, in the middle you have uh, Stonehenge and uh, guess what uh, 8000 kilometers after Stonehenge almost crossing the equator look what out is this a triangle or not yeah it looks like a triangle and uh, this position is not also accidental so yeah it be uh, something uh, like uh, station or uh, important crossroad uh, uh, guys uh, check this uh, okay can be in the next video and um, uh, so uh, what do what do what can we get out of this uh, when uh, considering our um, Sahara well Yes, uh, it's a marker. It's a marker, and um, I believe this was done by technical civilization. Uh, really, the gods uh, that lives before us. And uh, we're terraforming our planet, and uh, they were up uh, lifting, and maybe with some enormous energy, maybe electromagnetical energy uh, because you know the earth is, uh, the core of earth is rotating differently than uh, uh, its outer you know, layer surface so that's why we have uh, electromagnetic magnetic fields and uh, if you guys put this together and uh, check this grid and uh, Uh, some things like here you can see the material that it was uh, that was taken and then over the water it was dropped down also here check this path taking the material over water it's dropping the material uh, connecting with another grid lines which were carrying another material so um, yes, it's uh, it's terraforming. The, our the gods were uh, creating terraforming our planet, and um, there's no doubt about it. And it's maybe time to wake up and uh, uh, try to realize uh, what can we get out of it. Maybe if we were able to do this and use this free energy and uh, keep our earth um, rotating in, in connection also with moon uh, I will talk about it later Later, this uh, sun, earth and moon connection so maybe it's time for us to do the same uh, check this, uh, also these lines uh, are interesting uh, uh, they, they are also, uh, the terrain around it is always, uh, you know 
uh, copying this line so um, that's how I came to idea that uh, it could they could do it and they could terraform uh, our planet um, before uh, you know before they started uh, uh, with the wars uh, between themselves and uh, after that uh, the first civilization started you know the Egypt the summer Sumerian uh, civilization and another uh, you can see the cataclysm was here and um, the first civilizations were maybe the, the guys uh, who were under serious um, radiation and um, by there we have made Cro-Magnon and other types of uh, humans uh, that can be deformed uh, from uh, because of the radiation because all this uh, in a correlation with uh, historical texts like uh, Bible, Indian, Indian, ancient Indian texts. Um, for example, if you take uh, drawings on uh, Mojo uh, on uh, Eastern Island uh, and compare, compare, it's, it's still a mystery. It's like nobody; they are just guessing, you know, the symbols, and they are guessing it like the fish. And, but uh, the same symbols are found here in Mojadaro and uh, like how can how can they be the same? Uh, only if this were the stops of uh, on a path of uh, uh, of a tra traveling path. And this uh, was uh, some kind of signals uh, that they get. Uh, uh, I will explain it later. So that's about it for today. Uh, hope you learned something new and uh, hope you like my view of uh, these things. Uh, how this mystery was solved and uh, really, I really believe this is uh, 100% uh, not accidentally uh, some some accidental uh, some natural um, you know formation so it's a marker and uh, uh, next time uh, we can uh, check this uh, grid lines how it worked uh, exactly and uh, now check this uh, table and uh, check the num num numeral uh, coincidences make a decision for your own um, thank you